is going on everyone this is ninja geek here and we are finally back uh, I'll explain my uh, back from vacation later on in the video but I really want to get into this video because I promised this video uh, I would say like a week maybe maybe a little longer than a week ago and uh, I promised it because I in, I made like a video about like scuff controllers and stuff like that and if you want to check out that out it'll also be on my channel and uh, but before we get into that we're going to be using the M27 within this domination game um, you know we end up dying a few more times than I would like I get I don't remember exactly what the score was but I know that we did end up winning I believe we won I, I hope I'm right in saying that we won but it was a very good domination match nonetheless anyway so I hope you do all enjoy this Black Ops 2 gameplay and I don't know how long this video is going to be so I might have to overlap some gameplay at the end to uh, see to cover up for that commentary so anyway we're going to start talking about uh, the uh, pro players and uh, just basically MLG in general more often than uh, the pro players so basically um, this is basically like a Follow up to what I said in the scuff how like you know MLG players always use scuff controllers and I said I would get into talking about that well you know uh, nothing now this isn't a commentary about like scuff controllers so that's you know obviously in the video before but basically MLG is um you know like I just don't understand like I don't uh, first of all I don't get how this works like how they go about like banning and you know like all that stuff like okay like say let's take Call of Duty Ghosts for example how okay no IEDs in competitive like how they go about banning certain things is you know exactly like that and uh, you know like basically stuff like that so in advanced warfare obviously they're probably going to do the same thing they're gonna you know take they're gonna look at the game and they're gonna be like okay well that's OP that's not being in uh, the uh, MLG play style that's not going to be played competitively uh, with that type of thing and I can tell you already because obviously this video is going out after the advanced warfare multiplayer trailer uh, you know like the reveal and uh, speaking of that I will have a video about that I'll get into that a little later in the commentary but um, basically, you know, we got that, and I could tell you already, cloaking, probably not going to be in competitive, um, you know, certain things like that, and it's like, why? If we have to play the game with the stupid stuff that is banned in competitive, why do we have to play the game like that? Like, if, you know, public players, because the, per the percent of the, uh, the MLG players and people who play the game competitively are like 1 to 2 percent, uh, I'd guarantee, maybe like 3 percent at most of the people who play Call of Duty in the whole entire world or whatever and uh, you know it's just it's those three percent that they're catering to and they're taking away the stuff that you know normal players have to deal with on a daily basis especially like in Call of Duty Ghost pre-patch with that those IEDs uh, just really annoying and I say this first off that um, you know if you have to th think of putting something into a game and it's going and you have to think and it's like oh do I, should I put this in the game may it be overpowered it, it shouldn't be in the game at all like it, you know like especially with the IED like I, I keep mentioning the IED because that thing it shouldn't be in the game at all and it's banned in competitive so why do public players why do 97 to 90 like 9% of the players out there who play Call of Duty on just on a daily basis or on a whatever you know why do we have to deal with that it's just it shouldn't happen and uh, that's basically that and then for a second part uh, I wanted to talk about the pro players themselves so uh, you know like some most of the times like for these reveal events or um, playing the game early or stuff like that pro players are sent out to you know play the game early and stuff like that and this I got this like these thoughts before the reveal actually came out because uh, like, like let's think that the reveal didn't come out for advanced warfare and the uh, the MLG players and stuff like that they're all like oh yeah the game is good it supports competitive good and the game we obviously didn't see gameplay yet pretending in you know air quotes that we didn't see it, even though we did but uh you know oh well we didn't see gameplay yet but are we gonna believe these competitive players first off competitive players you know they I mean nothing against them there's this isn't a hate video there's nothing against them they're probably I mean competitive players pro players just get paid to you know say that stuff it's not like they're coming out there and they're just like one of us like a regular public match player regular uh, player that just plays the game normally they're you know they actually get paid to uh, you know either say stuff and or like just play the game and stuff like that because that's you know their job and nothing's wrong with that nothing's wrong with getting paid but if they're getting paid are they really gonna say oh this game is garbage you know like that because you know why would you say that if you're getting paid anyways so you know, I, I really want to see 
how the game would actually play out, you know, if I was there and not the competitive player. Now, I know lots of YouTubers went to see it. Now, this is talking after we've seen the gameplay. So, I know lots of YouTubers went and stuff like that, and now we've seen gameplay, and now we can get more, you know, eyes on, not hands on really, because the game's not out, but eyes on with what we have to deal with and what the things that we can see. And, um, like I said before, I'm going to make an Advanced Warfare good and bad video. Both are going to be different, so stay on the lookout for that. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Like, the, the thing is. I don't, it's hard to explain, kind of, because, uh, you know, it's, because it's like Advanced Warfare is not out yet, but I'm trying to think of it as if we didn't see the multiplayer reveal, but, you know, because I wanted to do this commentary earlier, but it just didn't fit into the schedule that I had. So, uh, not complaining about the individual pro player, it's just I don't believe in anything they have to say. And, uh, you know, like, as far as, like, the next game goes, like, if they say, oh my god, like, if, like let's picture this as next year, like, Treyarch comes out with their, uh, you know, whatever game it is, hopefully it's a World War II game, by the way, just a little thing, and uh, they come out with that game, and then the pro players go and play it, and they're like, oh my god, this game is so good, it's really good and competitive, okay, well, I don't want to hear about competitive, I mean, for, you know, for some people, I like watching competitive matches, you know, competitive gaming is really fun to watch. Uh, I don't, I haven't played competitively um, a lot. I've played it a little bit, but you know, there's really nothing that, you know, lots of people, you know, if someone's not gonna pick up Advanced Warfare and be like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a competitive MLG pro player. Most of the 99%, like I said, are just gonna be like, oh, I'll pick up the game and see how it is. And they're gonna play public matches, which is what, you know, basically Call of Duty is. So it seems like these companies are, uh, you know, uh, based off of the pro players, which, I mean, you know, they get first hands on for whatever reason. They, uh, like I said, again, they get paid to go out there or whatever, and they get paid anyways. So, you know, I mean, it's like, it's, it's just like kind of annoying at a time to have to hear what they have to say about the game because they're just featuring competitive. And then when the game actually comes out, like Call of Duty, uh, or let's say for Black Ops 2, like, you know, we had a bunch of the problems with the target finders and stuff like that, but in MLG, I doubt, I don't think there's target finders in league play, because that's basically like the uh, MLG rules, I believe, that's the MLG rules, and uh, I don't think there's target finders in there, there's nothing, like, they block, they ban a, a lots of stuff from Black Ops 2 in the league play, so, you know, why do regular public match players, the majority, have to play it? That's basically the point in the commentary, and that's, you know, what I just have to say about it, because, I mean, if you have a different opinion, you know, just leave it below, because I, uh, I always like to hear different opinions about different things and different topics and stuff, and this is one that I, you know, kind of, like, care about, because it's like, why should I have to hear an opinion from someone who play of the, uh, m not of the majority, of the minority, of, like, the 3% of the people who play this game, and and they say that the game is good when they're playing, you know, like half of it. Basically, they're playing half a game. Even if YouTubers, no matter who goes out to these reveal events to, uh, you know, play the game early. We're not even talking about when a game releases. We're just talking about when a game is, like, early. And, uh, you know, you're only playing half of a game. So far, Advanced Warfare is half through. I mean, it probably might be, you know, they're obviously working on it more because it's not out yet. But... Uh, when they go to the reveal events and they play the versions of the game, it's only a half-done game. You know, there's so many score streaks you could use, so many abilities, so many perks you could use. Well, at least I think the perks. I'm not exactly sure if they had all the perks there, but there's so many of everything that you could use, and basically it's half of a game. So, uh, I don't remember if with Call of Duty Ghosts we saw the IED within, uh, the reveal or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's basically like that. Like, you know, we get half of the game. So... Uh, obviously, the Advanced Warfare multiplayer uh, reveal came out, and we've seen lots and loads of gameplay, and I have lots to say about that, too. That's for another video. That is in not, indeed, for this video, because there's just too much to talk about for that. And But leave a comment below. I really want to see what you think about MLG. Again, not hating at all. 100% not, not hating. MLG, I mean, competitive players are fun. You know, competitive playing is, uh, is a thing that it's, like, basically a job for lots of people. And, uh, not just only a job, but, like, a lot of, uh, you know, competitive stuff goes on there and a lot of fun activities. And, uh, you know, I mean, not hating on that. I just don't like how the pro players get paid to say that the game is good when we have no idea yet. Because, like, you know, lots of people you hear, oh, yeah, this game is going to be good, when you don't really know. And that's what I want to make clear, that, you know, just don't believe that stuff. Because it's, you know, you never know. It's, if you're playing the game for fun... 
you know, competitive is not going to really matter to you. If you're playing the game for competitive, maybe you'll listen to that. Maybe if you're the of the 3%, and I'm not just, like, complaining, oh, yeah, there's only 99% of people and that play public. I'm saying, I'm telling you facts that there probably is around 93% of people, or not, I mean, 99% of people, and there's only, like, 3, 1 to 3% of people who play competitive. Uh, you know, that's just how it works. It's just, you know, because it's just the different amounts of people that are on the uh, game. So if you did enjoy, I know I'm rambling on now about this, you know, commentary and stuff like that. But if you do, do enjoy, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more Call of Duty content uh, as I like to put them out as they come out. And uh, I will stay on top of different things about Advanced Warfare. Like I said, stay tuned with throughout the week. Um, tomorrow may be my first Advanced Warfare uh, good side of the video. And what I really want to do is some people do like the uh, the Advanced Warfare, like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like they do that with every game. It's like, oh yeah, this game, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And they throw it in one video and it's like a 20 minute long video. You know, I could render out a 20 minute long video. Nothing is like that. I just want to get people anticipated for, you know, what my thoughts are because uh, I obviously you just got back from vacation that's why earlier in the video I just stated that I uh, had I it's harder to talk not harder what am I talking about it's uh, I got just got back and uh, talking in front of a mic again for a long time so I uh, got to get used to that again and uh, advanced warfare videos out uh, as they come out so yeah so that's the end of the video I'm ninja geek leave a comment below like I said before if about the uh, MLG thing I'm out. Peace.